package in the mail today. So let's get this open. It's from the Game Crafter. I think I know what's inside of it. But we will see. Alright. Oh, it's like it's like Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is my copies of Throne of Pasta and a Poor. Alright, let's take all this stuff out here. Okay, so we have We have this wonderful deluxe uh, dice tower. This takes a little bit to build it. it. Looks awesome when it's done. Nice laser cut pieces there. So the deluxe one also comes with these uh, tarot card sleeves, which are nice. We have the nice neoprene play mat here. I'll just, I'll just maybe just leave that guy right there. And then we have a copy of Throne of Hastinapur. Pretty excited about this. I I haven't seen the final final colored dice. This one's done by uh, Sylvain Plant, and I oh yeah, it's looking good. Let's get this open. All right. Yeah, I really like this coloring. So the last copy, I I made some slight changes to uh, the contrast because it looked too saturated. So this play mat looks a little bit better. Uh, this dice tower actually looks a little better too. And then the, the game itself looks a little, a little nicer. Oh yeah. Oh, look at those. Wow. <laughs> look how great these are. Wow, these colors really turned out nice. Very vibrant. Wow. So there you go, there's the custom dice. Oh, those turned out great. You have the, the, the warm and the cool colors. The warm ones have the black, the black faces and the cool ones have the white. Oh, those look great. Just look at the detail on that. Just amazing. Awesome. <laughs> they look great. I'm very excited about those. Yeah, that was a good choice. If you hear some noise, it's my cat getting into the box. Let's see if I can get him, get him in the camera. Hi, Arthur. Okay, we'll get this back up here. All right, cool. There's a little elephant meeple. Very nice little guy. Actually, the first player marker, turn marker. Oh, nice. So there, here's the card backs. It's nice finish on them. Yeah, these are nice. They're, they're a little bit brighter than before. Oh yeah, these are looking good. Also, Arthur's licking me for some reason. <laughs> hey buddy, get your tail out of here. Oh yeah, these are a lot easier to read. Uh, Cause the other ones were just a little too dark, just a little hard to read. Okay, Babarika, Bishma, Trapati. This is awesome, these look great. Wow. Yeah, those look a lot, a lot nicer because the, uh, the others were just a little bit too too rich in color to where they were kind of too dark and hard to see and read. Oh, one other thing that changed. Haha, <laughs> that looks cool too. So uh, instead of having a few pages in the rule book, 
I was able to eliminate those and put all the, the kind of background and flavor text on the sides of the box here. There you go. Very cool. That looks great. That was actually JT's suggestion. It's a great idea. It saved me a few pages in the in the book, rule book. And it's, you know, also now the rules just jump right into the rules rather than going through too much uh, flavor. So here's just go straight to the game overview. Card anatomy setup. Oh yeah, this is looking great. I'm I'm just always so impressed with the the game crafters quality. It's it's very very nice. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Card clarifications. And then, last but not least, a lot of tokens. So I think these, I also ch slightly changed the colors so that they're a little lighter. I'm not gonna punch all these out on camera, but these tokens turn out real nice. In addition to the, uh, the, uh, the colors, it was suggested that I add some kind of geometric shapes to them as well. So if, if I was having a hard time reading them uh, or like knowing which ones are mine, I could at least see the basic shape as well as the color. So I have like a, a diamond, a hexagon, you know, pentagon. Oh yeah, these are looking good. These two are kind of stuck together. Yeah, these are good. Then just straight circle. And last but not least, I believe it's an octagon. Wow. Or how many sides is that? Yeah, it's an octagon. <laughs> Going crazy here. Yeah, these turn out great. Wow, very nice. And for whatever reason, they seem a lot less... I think these, are, these weren't actually laser cut. These were uh, die cut. So those are going to be a lot cleaner to take out rather than all the all the soot. Oh, great! All right, there you have it. Throne of Hastinapur. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being patient, Arthur. I appreciate it. Say hi. Hey, up here. Come.